hello and welcome back to my channel. It's February the 1st today, so it's time to film my finished pages for January 2019. I've done quite a few, um, so it can take a while before it's all filmed. Uh, I'm going to see how it goes. Um, I've noticed that my camera switches itself off um, and starts another video uh, automatically. I don't know why he's doing that. Um, but it's very annoying because uh, in between the two parts, there's always a loss of me talking. So um, I will have to um, yeah, make sure that um, he's doing fine now and yeah, that I can um, look at the time. So it's possible that he will be filmed in two parts. I'm not sure yet. Um, and for the background, it's still my desk here. But uh, for that nasty glare, I've put on a blanket so that uh, it's uh, nicer for the eyes. So we'll jump right in. The first picture that I've colored in January was one of the Mouse Guard coloring book. It uh, was a long time that I um, picked this book up. So, um, yeah, it was uh, about time. And I was, uh, myself, I wasn't too fond of what I did. But strangely enough, it was a, a huge hit on Instagram. Um, yeah, I, I was a bit... I liked the, f the butterflies, but... The combo of the background and the flower, well, I was not sure. I, I am very pleased with the fur of the three mice. Um, I will try to zoom in and focus so that you can see their hair. I try to give him some a wilder look with hairs um, to the front and here to both sides. And the other ones are more... Um, yeah, neat. He's a bit of a, a rascal, or how do you call it? So I've used, I'm going to have to, it's written down, I, I have to write it down because otherwise I just forget. The ink tents, I think that was for the flowers and also for the butterflies. Color softs. I think they're capes I've done and maybe a bit of extra shading on top and these little flowers. It's possible that uh, that's color soft. Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter. Glitter gel pen. That's for the details on the belt. Uh, white oil pastel. Where did I use that? Oh yes, I've used that to make these tips more white because my pencil um was smudging out the color here so i've used white oil pencil uh, pe oil pastel i'm sorry um and signo white gel pen for the border here and the uh, um spectrum noir i hope it's a bit visible i did use that on the butterflies i've i was looking for my torch to give some extra light but I couldn't find it. So on the right butterfly it's a bit visible and the glitter gel pen is on his belt and he has some on his uh, jewelry on uh, on his arm. So that was the first one. And then in Tenderful Enchantments, I did my first picture. I tackled a few books uh, this month. I still had to do a few um, or to, to start working in a few. And I did. So uh, the books that aren't yet colored, their amount has uh, dropped back uh, again. So I'm very happy with that. In this picture, I've played around with my... Um, um, liquid watercolors. These look like a little ink bottle. Um, I bought them at my discount shop, but there's also an, a brand called Echoline. I have been told that's also a liquid watercolor. 
So I did put down uh, a bit of water and uh, some drops of the liquid watercolor and that floated around. And in this book it worked perfectly and it's one color that I've used. But if you reactivate it with extra water, the color changes. So you have turquoise, a lighter green, blue, uh, another kind of green. So I really like these, oops, I'm sorry. I really like these watery stains. I'm going to zoom in again. So I really like those rough edges. And here on the top, the tripod is in my way. You also have really dramatic uh, stains in these colors. It's just fantastic how, yeah, how you can um, achieve that with only one color. And of course, I've used stickles on her hair and on the jellyfish. And I'm sorry that my camera isn't auto-focusing. I've used some pearlescent watercolors to have some extra effect. Little gel pen. And I think I've based it down with Albrecht Dürer. I'm going to take a sneak peek. Albrecht Dürer pencils, yes. And then I've shaded with the Brutführer pencils. These are the, like the Guangui or um, Wanshui pencils. Um, a signal white gel pen. Where did I? Oh yes, for the for some of the details here. So I was very happy with this one. I really like the paper in this book. And if you look at the back, I only have a bit of ghosting at this part, and I, I know how that comes. There was a big stain here. And I wanted some extra effect, but I had used too much water already. So that's that's the only part that has gone through a little bit and for the rest nothing. So I'm very happy with, uh, with how this came out. And I think I've used some glitter gel pen here on these parts too and on her hearts. Did I use... Oh no, I think I've used the Brutfuners for her skin also. Yeah. Really, really like this one. Very happy with that. The next one you have seen on a little color and chat. Also the first picture done in this one. Um, I try to play around with light and dark, but... Mm, I'm not too fond of the result. I've played around with Neo Colors too. Um, Durban Colors Soft for her blouse and I think also for her jeans. Uh, Brutfuner, I think for her hair and the skin. Acrylic paint, oh yes, for the snow. And watercolor paint for the details on the box and the blanket. So I'm fairly happy with this one, but it's uh, not no, it's not too wowy. It doesn't have to be, but yeah, I I wish the the light and the dark was more popping out. Now it's 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 a, a, um, an attempt to. In my opinion but oh well everyone has to learn so maybe a next picture will uh, will be more successful <clears throat> then the gnomes in the neighborhood I did two this month the first one was the disaster page <laughs> uh, I call it like that because I wanted to show you uh, how to do the um, liquid watercolor background like in the Clara Markova book, but this paper was really, really, look at the difference. The Clara Markova book, no bleed through, same, same uh, method of um, putting water on the page and putting the liquid watercolor on the page. And in the Clara Markova book, besides that one stain, nothing, and look at this. 
so yeah it was, was crazy paper is crazy for this one but and since i um did too much of the watercolor in her area her face was totally blue and and parts weren't blue and parts were um and then i decided all the fish and her um to paint her blue anyway and the fish too um and to make them glowing so i've used um white oil pastel for the border i filmed everything so except the um, the adding of the stickles afterwards but the, the paint here the pearlescent paint and the oil pastel is filmed i did a, a series on this page and um, also a hit on instagram <laughs> while i was thinking oh boy <laughs> but on the other hand never be afraid to finish up a page even if it doesn't um answer your expectation when you started it um i don't hate it not not at all i just had something different in mind but for a saved picture is quite okay i think so and i'm very happy with my sunburned gnome with his red nose and his red shoulder um yeah so i i had fun with this one but i i wish that i uh, had shown this technique in another book um, because I think I've scared a lot of people <laughs> by doing this uh, in this book but hey another lesson learned um, you can play with watercolors and this technique so putting down your water and watercolor but use a, a tablet version um, I did this with a very cheap um, Chinese brand it's it's this isn't the one that I've used but because this is the pearlescent one but it's also a very cheap set with some round um, paints and this didn't bleed through at all and it's quite the same um, result that you get um, and the paper you see a little bit bleeding but not that much so uh, but okay that was this one I'm sorry that I can't lift my book any higher but and then I'm going to straight into the second one that I did I'm sorry I have the hiccups and that's this one um, I wasn't happy with this one at first because I did put on uh, did put some gesso here because I wanted to protect my page and it did because everything else that you are seeing is um, marker and um, some other paints that bled through but the initial background of the the orangey paint here state where it should be on top of the page but the, the the flowing of the different colors um i think i've used two it you can see some streaks here you you really can see the gesso underneath and although i have um, heard that some gesso can be um, sandy this one isn't I just um, I, I have to practice with it more um, this isn't a sandy structure not at all so I'm very pleased with uh, the the way that it's working but I think I've uh, painted too quickly um, on the gesso because a friend of mine uh, who is also very creative um, told me that I had to leave it for 12 hours or something to be sure that it was definitely uh, workable and I didn't know that beforehand so uh, but no, nevertheless I uh, decided afterwards to um, make it more playful with some stickles and um, in the end I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it turned out it's a warm picture 
um, on the purple bird and these flowers I've used my Paul Rubens glitter watercolor paints I just got them in that day and of course I had to test them look at this glow it's so beautiful and then I decided because I wasn't happy at first with the background to color the birds and everything in with markers I've used my Le Moucher once I think um, and then I've shaded with Durban drawing for his jeans and for the, the hat and um, the blouse, the shoes, I think I've used it almost for everything. The face is done in Prismacolor. Um, and I think I've used Prismacolors on the blue birds too. Because the blue in the drawing series looks different than these two guys look. I really like how they came out too. He's, he's just looking so sleepy, he's uh, adorable. And the paints that I've used to, for the background were my Kuritake ones. So that's what, that was why I a bit... Oh, I can't talk. That's, that was why I was a bit annoyed <laughs> that my gesso wasn't cooperative because I've used my precious Kuritake paints on it and yeah. And for the tree, look... Uh, I've used Inktense pencils and did I shade extra? No, I don't think so. I've used, I did a bit of extra uh, of the darkest color uh, to uh, be sure that the surrounding of this hole was a bit darker than all the rest. But that's only uh, Inktense pencils. So that was this one. And then a picture that I didn't upload online because eh, it's okay, but not uh, not to be too uh, crazy about. What did I use? Graphite tint, yes, for the background. Um, Brutfuner for the skins. Stickles, of course. <laughs> And watercolor pearlescent paint from Action. That's, that was the set that I was showing earlier. So it's... Oh, and on the leaves it's also Durban uh, graphite tint. I've used a lot of graphite tint. And then the Brute Funer for the flowers and the grasses and the skin tones. Um, I really like this chubby fairy with his blushing cheeks. He's such a cutie pie. I, I loved working on him. And the rest is, is nice too, but but... Yeah, he, he stole my heart. But the, the color combos, nah, no, it wasn't. Uh, no, it, was, it just didn't um, appeal to me in the end. So that was this one. Then we did this picture. Um, on YouTube um, it was a simple page with a lot of text and I transformed it into something playful um, to prove that you don't always need a lot of uh, drawings to to get a, a, a nice um, yeah effect and um, here I've used my iridescent medium, I think. Yes, I've written it down in the corner. Albert Uter color soft pencils, of course, because it was a gift and the book also from the same sweet lady. And um, glitter gel pen and iridescent medium. Yeah, glitter gel pen was for his key. And then the iridescent medium. Going to refocus. It's more vivid from a distance, I think. And it's even more vivid when the camera isn't picking it up very well. So really enjoyed working in this book. And I've discovered a nice color combo for the fish. So I'm very happy with, with this one. <clears throat> I'm going to take a look if I can. 
lift this camera a little bit more, but I'm afraid I can't. No, it's on the highest level. And I'm looking at my time. I'm 20 minutes in. How many books have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Yeah, maybe two and then I can take a break. Um, then a Chinese book. I don't know how it's called. But I've got it from AliExpress. This was the first I did in it. I think she's more at the back. Yes, here she is. She is done with Prismacolor pencils, Brutfunner pencils, marker. Where did I use marker? Oh yes, for this uh, thing she's leaning on. Um, color soft pencils, I think for these flowers. And for the leaves. Um, I got the water watercolors. Pearlescent watercolor from Action, yeah. And Kuretake gem. I don't know where I've used. Oh yes, I did use it here on her lips and a bit on her belt, together with iridescent medium. I really like how her hair turned out, and I think I've used the Brutfunner pencils for her hair. I was very pleased with how that came out. And I did use some paints on her nails too, but that is, that isn't visible. I didn't uh, give them some glitter. And I just colored her dress straight in and went over with the pearlescent watercolor. And this is the Agalo watercolor paints. And I decided to do nothing with uh, the background because it would be too busy then, I think. So that was this one. And then we have The Wizard of Oz, another book that I've... Uh, never worked in before so it was about time and i did this page and at first i really hated it um i started coloring everything in except for the leaves but for the the figures um i started coloring in him the lion and uh, the tin man with neo color too I think I did her dress in EOS too, and it looked awful. Um, I, of course, it was my plan to only use the NEOs for a base, so I did. And um, afterwards, I um, shaded, I think, with polychromos pencils, or Prisma colors, no polychromos. And after that, after English word for this, I, I was wow. I was impressed because I I had the feeling that I could touch it and went go through uh, them with my hands because they looked quite natural to me. And I did the same technique with the small strokes on her hair. I'm very happy with how her hair looks too. And then I decided to just go straight in to her dress, I think with the iridescent medium. Yes. And I've uh, I read the story, and I always thought that she was wearing red shoes, but it's supposed to be silver. But I did put on a wrong color of stickles. <laughs> but oh well, and he has some stickles too. And here, his tears are a bit shiny because of the. Uh, not the iridescent medium, but I think I've used um, Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Gel. He has a tear too. And then I've used Agalo watercolors again on the, the leaves. And he has some stickles on his little uh, yeah, detail on his clothing. So I'm quite uh, happy afterwards, but in the beginning it was so no. But in the end it's quite okay. So now I'm in the half of my um, 
finished pages. I'm going to end this part here because I think my camera will play tricks on me again and uh, I prefer to um, have a decent video where my words aren't disappearing out of the blue. So I will see you again for part two in a minute.